Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are gonna be fucking rich, but mostly you and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But... The past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Don't make the same mistake he did. I work for you, but you don't own me. <laughs> Believe me, I'm well aware. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. Suit yourself. I'll keep it waiting for when you return. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. 
He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be- Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. Call me that again. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the ocean lobby. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. Wouldn't want to do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice and the cushy chair. Haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. Time to find the rest of the crew. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it, three days ago? Lazy jetman. Ship's diagnostics always come back good. The Artemis isn't much to look at, but she's built to last. Of course, Cox needs to get his beauty rest before he gets back to work, doing absolutely nothing. suit up in the prep room with everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now, I keep my vac suit in my room. Maya has a plan for this meditation session. She's going to bring her makeup kit and wait until Virgil gets into a deep trance. Then go to town on him. I may have to watch. Virgil. Virgil! Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto dock repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded.
That sounds serious. Can we replace it? We can, and should. Normally I wouldn't recommend it. I could always open people up the old-fashioned way. But the twins get into more mishaps than a normal crew. A high-quality gem would ensure that I'm ready for their next disaster. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? The UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back, and I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. When Cox recruited me, a big selling point was the med bay and the medic. Not something you see on most scavenging ships. Should I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? Does he know something I don't? No one on this ship likes to talk about their past, but Virgil is a real mystery. Only Cox knows his deal, and he's not saying. We never have enough supplies, but Virgil always seems to make do. Where do I look for a replacement crystal? Aside from medical, high-end navigation or communication systems use them as well. Any other medic, and I'd assume he spent the day napping in this. But not this medic. I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? Ow. You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow! Just let me go, it just fell, okay? Well, I tell you! Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! Uh, hey! Boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Tokaka! Enough of this, Falota! And you wonder why I have to treat you like Maliwala. <laughs> we got a job, Baratnas. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said. Give me three months, and you never have to work again. He said... He said, this the next job. And he the boss man. <sighs> Just like series. Bossing everyone around, only this time no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? <laughs> this isn't <laughs> series. On the ship, I'm the EXO. Yeah. I was only fucking with you, Copain. Come on, Baratna. So far, none of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. Maya is making an effort to learn some Belter words, and Arlen is... trying to help. Supplies are always tight on long jobs, but we're running low on even the basics now.
Nothing like fresh herbs and spices to go with dried kibble. Arlen is right that Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder. Food in the belt is never fancy, but my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. ETA, five minutes, drummer. Will do, boss man. Headed back to my room to suit up now. I bet she sniffs that box before she goes to bed. Somehow I am not surprised to learn that Maya keeps a copy of our ship's manual by her bedside. Maya fits in well for her first time in the belt, despite whatever Philota this book taught her. I never thought I'd get along with a Martian Marine, but Maya hates the MCRN almost as much as I do. I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected and a lot further away from anything else. Those gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Until he took it all away. Even with everything he's done to me, I would never turn Dos into UN enforcers. Dos gave me everything. Even with everything he's done to me, I would never turn Dos into UN enforcers. Took every yen I had to get off Ceres without Dos or Star Helix noticing. Never had time for dating on Ceres. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. token of my childhood on Ceres. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda, but you are not a traitor. You love your belt, and right now, belt is me. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. <laughs> Typical engineer. Smart hands. But caca for brains. <laughs> I already beat Arlen's ass today. I guess Virgil can handle one more patient.
I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. Cutting thrust. Prepare to enter float in three, two... Come on. Let me hear it. You got me. <laughs> Fuck yes. Finally! <laughs> you were kicking my ass for a minute. I thought you had me again. That was a good move. <laughs> But if we were playing for keeps, I would have headbutted you at the end there. And if we were playing for keeps, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones up against the ceiling. Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you brittle bitches. Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are going Holy to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It's hard for me to look at these moons without thinking about the Earther research colonies exploiting all the resources on them and giving nothing to the belt. That's... fucked up. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen valve. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to- Woohoo! As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayan and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his vac suit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it! Cool up! Whoa! Uh, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your suit, eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick.
Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big-ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging! You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. If I stare at these too long, I might be the one throwing up in my suit. It's not like the pirates took down some creaky old ship. This thing was practically brand new. Got an intact QPU here. Nice find. Oxygen, scrap metal, wiring. If we can use it or sell it, it goes in here. Pirates tore this place apart, but pirates aren't scavengers. Like the crew didn't surrender their heads to the pirates without a fight. Keep an eye out for trouble while you're setting up the containment vaults. You ever cut anybody's head off, Ixo? Back when you ran with Dawes? The OPA isn't a bunch of savages. We know. They still get their job done, though. Way I see it, too many Enyas walking around with their heads still on. There must have been one hell of a battle here. Hmm. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. Left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. Makes sense. Especially if they thought other people might come looking. Could be. The scuttlebutt around the Urshanabi has been pretty loud.
This looks like a fabricator of some kind. Maybe for material printing? Do we... <gasps> yes! Gimme, gimme! Looks like the officer's section is still intact. Go check it out. On it. You know the military. The brass always hoards the best shit. Hmm. <laughs> Let's hope so. Clean palladium in this recycler. Good pull, drummer. UNN officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. You were a UNN officer. Do you have a backup recycler for yourself? Of course not. I drink the same cloudy sludge as the rest of you. Mm-hmm. This map would be helpful if all the pieces were still together. No such luck. I did run a phase array scan. Everything matched the LIDAR, except for one gap in the captain's quarters. I'll check it out when I get in there. Commanders, this is Private Takabe. The pirates have asked me to report the following. All crew members, except for those barricaded in the officers' quarters, have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. If you open the gate now and allow them to complete their search, no more lives will be lost. And if you do not comply, oh god, please don't. Two minutes until the next one. Guineas. Bigoted asshole. He still didn't deserve to die like this. You come. You've been flying a long time. Never seen anything like this before. Nah. But when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. You've seen the damage they did. What do you think they were after? Could be anything. Question is, whether they found it or not. Microwave energy gun. Not a bad choice for persuading someone to open a door. Appears I have one advantage over the pirates that were here. What's that? I know how to look up.
Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. Not a lot of particulates in the air filter. Virgil, how long do you think the bodies have been like this? A couple of days? That's my assumption, after analyzing the footage of the heads and the remnants of the precipitating battle. What have you noticed about the battle? Well, nothing about this attack seems random or impulsive, and yet, what was it all for? There's no clear motive. Very odd. So, about that. It's a fingerprint lock. You're going to need to find the right hand. An officer. The baka. Good news. The logs show that there was one out in the crew mess hall. Second Corporal Horowitz. Alright. Might be difficult to get his body back to the door, though. Don't need all of him. Oh, God. Right. No hand, no door. Arlen and Rayan's experience hauling minerals on Vesta has been a big help, even when they annoyed the hell out of me. Europa's Bane. Anyone heard of it? It's one of Toussaint Zapata's ships. Ah, fuck. Shoulda known. Who is that? Latest pirate flavor of the month. Led a mining strike on Europa. Stole a few ships. Now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. UNN has been giving her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good reason. Or, she's just a murdering psychopath. Got it. Thanks. Maya, I'm in the mess hall. Time to find an officer. I've linked the personnel records to your terminal. Try scanning the bodies and see if you get a match. Looks like the crew tried to mount a defense here. For all the good it did. Those poor people. This is awful. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Not even on series? Not even on series. Hashang. Check the shoulders. UNN officers have those fancy bars. I know pirates are vicious, but this is... You hear stories about people who spend too long off station. Go Bic Pagal. Bic Pagal? My belter is... It means really fucking crazy. This much violence seems pretty Bic Pagal to me. Can you hurry up? Working on it. 
I wonder if Toussaint was here herself, or if she stayed back on the ship like some other captains I know. Another pirate corpse. That makes two in here. Better than none. You know anything else about this Toussaint? Where she's from? The thing about murderous, rampaging pirates? They tend to be a little mysterious. This was a massacre. No other word for it. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Have you checked the ceiling? If his mag boots were off, he might have drifted. That's the one. Poor Earther. Sorry about this. Rayan, what's happening? Ah, ah, an accident. My leg. Uh, it's the Falota, you're the accident. Keep holding. I'll be right there. Drummer, whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is... Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. On my way. My leg. Samalo, drama. Samalo. Hold still. We'll see what we can do. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Drummer, his suit is punctured and losing pressure. You need to release the vault and patch him now or he could die. Belay that! That vault has O2, fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. Hold on. Kaka, what are you doing? You're welcome. I'm signaling Virgil to come check on him, but vitals look stable. You did the right thing, Kamina. Bullshit. See if you feel that way in a few weeks when we're running out of supplies. He's right, Boratna. You're a disgrace to Beltaloda. It's done.
OPA graffiti on the outside of the containment vault? How dumb can you get? Wait, did you just... That was a pressure-sensitive panel. It must be connected to... Quick, get away from there! Pashang, what? Combustion in five, four, three, two... <laughs> really? Oh my god, I wish I could see your face right now. I hope you're very proud of yourself. I'm gonna be honest. I really am. Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. You're in. Let's see what these UNN big shots kept themselves. Damn. Looks like the Urshanabi's last stand. They suddenly didn't give up the ship without a fight. What's a UNN escort ship doing alone out here? There's nothing to escort. Besides the pirates, there's no signs of ships in the vicinity. So they must have been traveling alone. Interesting. What would bring a ship so far from Earth? Something valuable that the pirates couldn't find, but you will. They torched all their data. Standard up, but unfortunate for us. Khan, I have something for you. It's a surprise. The biggest surprise would be ten uninterrupted minutes without your voice in my ear telling me how to do my job. Can you give me that? You know, one of these nights I'm going to sneak into your quarters and smother you to death with your pillow. <laughs> Tell Arlen before you do. I bet that shithead would love to watch. You know what? Forget about the surprise. Already forgotten. They don't even get to finish their last words. This is Christian Abasarala, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter hostiles. Captain, you lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You outnumber them five to one. I don't give half a fuck what ghost stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson. Do your fucking job or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abbasarala. Found the captain. Well, most of him. 
fucking savages. Looks like a personal key card. I should find whatever it opens. Found a key card on the captain. Not sure what it's for though. Check his room? Maybe he has a safe somewhere that pirate scanners wouldn't have picked up. This one didn't see any other way out. I've heard some Earthers find it therapeutic to fly with something that reminds them of life at home. Plants, soil, stuffed animal carcasses. Hey Cap, you need any dead animals for your desk? Why the fuck would I? Probably still has rabies. Come on, you're an Earther. You don't want a memento of Earth and its weird mammals? Do I seem like I missed that shit planet? I've been out here for so long I wouldn't know a ferret if it bit me on the ass. I'll just leave it here. I'm no art snob, but I don't think most paintings are done on iron. There you are. Earthers like to visit the parts of their planet that they haven't destroyed yet. Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. <laughs> Alright. Load up the crew and head back. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile. Yeah, boss man. Khan's picking up a short in the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. I'm on it. 